it's Friday, March 25th. It's actually Good Friday. I have the day off from work because it's an administrative day for at the campus I work at. So I decided to come to the range to do some chrono testing. I've actually haven't rage vlogged in a while because I just haven't been coming to the range. Just been busy and I got really lazy that first weekend of March when I was gonna come out here and do these tests. So I just ended up not coming out. But if you can see behind me, I actually have a chronograph set up and I'm going to do some chrono testing with some 556 uh, factory ammo. The reason why I'm doing this is because I have a little bit of curiosity to see what ammo shoots better, if anything, does shoot better than the other. And there's a lot of 5.56 NATO ammo out there now, uh, 55 grain and 62 grain, but I'm just, right now I'm just going to test 55 grain specifically. Even, and I should personally shoot XM193, which is the Federal slash Lake City uh, ammo. And I know there's a lot of other like XM193 clones or M193 clones from other brands. So I was going to try those out and basically I'm going to do a velocity test, a comparison, and maybe some slight accuracy testing. I don't have a scope on my gun, so it's going to be, it's not going to be perfect, but it should still give a comparison in a controlled environment for how I shoot. But there's actually, it's kind of busy here at the range right now because they're setting up for a match. Today's Friday, tomorrow, uh, this weekend they have matches going on, so they're setting up uh, in preparation for Saturday. So I'm going to try to hurry up and get out of here, so I'm going to do my test and get out. So it's probably going to be a short range session, but I just want to hopefully get some data down so I can write it down and get it all prepped for an article I'm going to write on this ammo that I'm testing. If you can see, um, and if you can hear me, I'm testing seven types of factory ammo, specifically Winchester 5.56 NATO 55 grain ammo, some Independence 5.56 55 grain ammo, the Wolf is actually a 2.22 Remington, PMC 5.56 193 55 grain, American Eagle. Federal, which is their 223 Remington round, 55 grain, and then the actual American Eagle package Lake City 556 NATO spec round, 55 grain. And I have some IMI, Israeli Military Industries 556 and 193 spec. So this should give a pretty good uh, range of ammo to test. And while I was trying to do 556 NATO 55 grain, I did want to include the Wolf Gold 222 Remington and American Eagle 222 Remington Sammy spec rounds. I, I think they're Sammy spec. But I wanted to include those because those are the Wolf Gold and the American Eagle 223 Remington are probably two of the most popular factory brands or factory products you'll find out there on retail shelves. So in my haste to get started shooting, uh, doing chrono testing, I actually melted the label off the chronograph display. There's like a little meter that you actually can move up from the chronograph that shows the, the LCD display that shows your velocities. I actually had it forward of the muzzle on the table and it actually, after the, it was enough shock to just like blow, the, tear the label off the front end of it. It didn't damage the display, but it messed up the label as you can see here. Anyway, uh, that's a little mistake I made, but the biggest mistake with any chronograph testing is shooting the chronograph, and I've never done that yet. I had to take a short break from chrono testing because they're setting up for tomorrow's match in my bay. This is uh, Bay 11 at the West End Gun Club. Pretty much. They, this is like one of the widest private bays they have and they shoot a lot of uh, larger stages of fire. So tomorrow's match is actually three gun.
So one thing you might have noticed is that I'm using a 20 round magazine when I'm shooting right now. The reason why I use a 20 round magazine is because it's a lower profile. 30 round mags, if you're shooting off a bench or if you're shooting prone, especially, it get it hits the ground or it hit the table, and so it, it it affects your position. That's why I prefer 20 round mags, and this, that's why people in service rifle high power matches will always use 20 round mags. Technically, 20 round straight body USGIs and 30 round USGI mags are legal for high power service rifle, but no one uses a 30 round magazine. Everyone uses 20 round straight bodies for high power simply because it provides the best legal for those competitions a low profile magazine that you can use so that's so that's why i'm using 20s right now always use 20s if you're shooting up a bench or if you can use like the 10 round flush mags like magpul mags those are good too So I'm pretty much done shooting all seven types of ammo on one the chrono test today. But I reshot the IMI M193 because the first string I shot of the IMI M193 shot terrible. And I thought something might have been wrong with my position. So I moved on and started shooting the other ones. The other the rest of the ammo I needed to test. So I just shot reshot IMI. I'm about to go check on it right now. Wow. Okay, so this is the this is the IMI M193, and it shot terribly bad. It's got a lot of flyers. This is a previous string I shot with the Lake City Federal 556 XM193, and that shot really tight. Uh, a couple flyers here could have been me or the wind, but this is really bad. And the first IMI string was just as bad. I had a, it was a lot of up and down this way, so I'm not sure what's going on with the IMI. Really disappointed. Usually Israeli military industries makes good ammo, but this could be a problem. So I don't know, I'm I, what's going on? It's IMI Brown Box. I bought this specific ammo from, I believe it's SG ammo, I think, off the look at my records. I'm gonna put all this in my blog article that I'm gonna post. Uh, this blog article is gonna be written up sometime this week maybe, or uh, this weekend and posted next week. But, uh, and also I have the chrono, obviously I have the muzzle velocities, the uh, averages, standard deviations and whatnot. But that, those results for the IMI is, are, is really surprising. So I'm trying to wind down the vlog. I vacated my bay because there's somebody, there were people waiting to shoot. So I wanted to let them have an opportunity to use the bay. And uh, it's actually pretty busy out here for being a Friday. And as you can see behind me, if you look around, there's a lot of people using the bays around here. So it's a pretty busy Friday. And I think one of the biggest complaints about the West End Gun Club by the members is the fact that the uh, the private bays are usually in use on the weekends, which is sort of true. But um, the matches, like a lot of the shooting matches and the shooting disciplines they host here, they occupy the bays. That's just the fact of the way the club works. But on half the weekends, I would say that you, sh you have an ample opportunity to have access to any of the private bays in the mornings. And after the matches are done, around 1,300 hours, all the bays are open. Uh, assuming no one's no one else is using them like another member so i mean granted that's a legitimate complaint but for the most part range the private bay access at west end gun club is not too bad on the weekends and on the weekdays it's really good it's obviously because not as many people have the day off my personal complaint uh my only personal other complaint about this facility is the uh the wind the weather it is windy here often and it's misleading on the weather reports if you go to weather.com and you put in lytle creek is which i usually use my indicator the uh, wind is not very accurate and so when you come out here and you expect the winds to be only like five miles an hour and, the, and it's actually shooting like 15 miles an hour, it kind of sucks. So that's my only complaint about, my, my personal major complaint about this range. And then I guess there's a third complaint for me personally is the distance. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to get from my house to here. So my old range in the fishing game was out in redlands roughly and that only took me about 30 minutes easily and it was close to the freeway here you have to come off road so if the weather like i mentioned before if it rains out you could be kind of dicey if you're trying to cross that creek 
So that's pretty much a little bit more detail about the West End Gun, uh, West End Gun Club, the shooting range out here. Again, we have that shared firing line, which goes up to 100 yards roughly. Uh, actually, it's 100 meters, and they have a another 100, like a little bit before that is another railing for 100 yards, I think. But it's a little irrelevant detail. But there's about uh, roughly 30 firing points there. I don't really shoot in the on the shared firing line, to be honest. I usually just shoot in the bays now. So that's pretty much the the majority of the vlog. There's not much else to talk about. Uh, I know it's a short vlog, and all I did was chrono, chrono test today. But stay tuned for that article I'm going to write. It's on that ammo that I tested. It's going to be pretty extensive, and I'm going to have a lot of the muzzle velocities and the calculations and a lot of photos, obviously, since I take a lot of photos. And hopefully you'll get some insight as far as different uh, 5.56 NATO and uh, the 223 ammo I tested for your gun. Anyway, that's the vlog. Today's Friday, March 25th. It's Good Friday. And I'm probably not going to vlog again. Maybe I might come out to you tomorrow. No, I don't. Have a happy Easter.